bachelor degree graduate can only do his non-invasive treatment. We inject in the masseter muscle and the temporalis muscle to relieve the pressure from the muscles. Take a vial of Botox and read over it. It is told it is to be prescribed by a registered medical practice. Hi viewers, this is Dr. Prince. Welcome back to your channel, Dental Tissues. In this episode, we'll delve into the topic of cosmetology and its significant impact in our dental industry. Join us as we embark to an exciting journey in the world of cosmetics and how you as a dental surgeon can discover its potential. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of queries regarding the same. Uh, all your doubts will be cleared in this session. So we are talking about the cosmetics or cosmetology in general, not cosmetics and dental practice. So before we commence, uh, please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Today we have with us Dr. Venu Jairam and Dr. Akash, who is going to guide us through this topic. Dr. Venu Jairam, an incredibly skilled cosmetologist who has specialized in facial aesthetic and trichology. He holds the esteemed positions of Joint Secretary for Karnataka, Andhra, Telangana and Kerala in the Council of Clinical Cosmetology, Trichology, Regenerative and Aesthetic Sciences of India. Welcome to my show, Dr. Jainam. Thank you, Dr. Prince. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my views on the field of, in the field of facial cosmetology and trichology. So, Dr. Jairam, how long have you been practicing dentistry and how is your career so far as a cosmetologist? I've been practicing dentistry for over eight, eight and a half years now. From there on, I've transformed into a completely uh, a facial cosmetologist and trichologist, uh, which I've uh, you know uh, professed more into uh, non-invasive uh, treatments and invasive treatments. What are all procedures a BDS and a MDS doctors can handle in cosmetology? See, uh, basically, we need to understand the whole uh, concept of cosmetology. What is cosmetology? Cosmetology is nothing but the re uh, restoration, reconstruction, and rebuilding of orofacial structures which could be the hard and soft tissues and associated structures that is the muscles of mastications and muscles of uh, facial expressions okay all these things we would have been studied in a basic degree when we have finished a formal degree we would have been studied it so taking into consideration this there's a clear demarcation on what a bachelor degree can do and a master degree can do there is a huge huge con confusion in the market on who can do what a bachelor degree person a bachelor degree graduate can only do his non-invasive treatments, mm -hmm. and like? that would uh, that would be like your injectables, mm -hmm. your skin resurfacing, and tissue liftings. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it is uh, classified into these three things. The invasive uh, procedures like the rhinoplasts and the hair transplants, this an MDS person like an oral maxillofacial uh, uh, surgeon is qualified to do. Yes, the bachelor degree can do it once he finishes his masters in trichology. There is an option in the, in the market and uh, when they are associated with the registered academy, the, uh, the academy will help them to graduate in that particular field. But there is a clear demarcation on what a bachelor's degree can do and a master's degree. Bachelor's degree can do only non-invasive procedures. Okay. So you were talking about the invasive procedures. So they should be handled only by an MDS, oral maxillofacial surgeon, right? Yes, yes. No other specialist. No other specialist. Okay. Yes, the bachelor degree uh, uh, graduate can be a second lead surgeon along with the oral maxillofacial surgeon. But the lead surgeon is always has to be an oral maxillofacial surgeon. You mentioned about the BDS and MDS doctors who can perform various procedure. So is there any opposition from the medical fraternity? I don't think there should be any uh, opposition from any other field because what we are recommending the students or the fellows to do is non-invasive treatments. In non-invasive treatments, we are just basically doing injectables. Like basically in case you go into a courses, okay, the goals of dentistry is prevention, diagnosis and treatment of the orofacial stru uh, structures which could be the soft tissue and the hard tissues mm -hmm. along with the associated structures. So imagine a patient of Christmas comes. Okay, how do you generally anesthetize that patient? You go extra, extra, extra orally and give the vasironi akinosi block. Okay, when we can give it on the on the facial structures, why can't we give? And there are a lot of therapeutic uh, uh, treatments that we do in Botox. When the when when a patient has got bruxism, we inject in the masseter muscle and the temporalis muscle to relieve the pressure from the muscles. Okay, and a lot of times, a lot of stu uh, students have asked this question. 
okay that botox is for this particular fraternity and this particular fraternity is for us supposed to use it i don't think it's right okay in case you took uh, you take a vial of botox and read over it it is told it is to be prescribed by a registered medical practitioner aren't we a registered medical practitioner and every filler a filler is basically used to neuromodulate and fill the spaces okay so in filler we have lidocaine okay who who uh, 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 does the treatment of lidocaine mostly it is the dentist when lidocaine can be prescribed why are they questioning our uh, our right on uh, doing this treatment right so i don't think there is any opposition it's just the confidence level of the person who's practicing as long as you can give a quality treatment and you have a precise knowledge on the anatomy of your muscles i don't think anything wrong could happen it's just the self doubting of the uh, the fellows or the uh, graduates who are practicing this field of cosmetology so doctor why do you think a bds doctor should upgrade into a cosmetology see what happens is basically a dentist has not understood the whole concept of our field you know when you go into the website of a dci website and you uh, you know if you take our curriculum uh, we deal a lot of things and mostly into facial anatomy and our peers are our other medical fraternity then move on to their other thing but if there is some fraternity who is uh, read anything in depth is a dentist and he starts off with with injectables so when i recommend something to a bds i tell injectables and who best can use an injectables than a dentist mm -hmm. okay so what happens is even me when i was gradually pushed into dentist uh, into the field of facial cosmetology it, it ha happened by an accident when i was doing a smile designing uh, it so happened that the patient was not really happy with the outcome of the treatment because of the visible nasal labial folds mm -hmm. so she she had asked me um, but then i wasn't into the field of uh, cosmetology so i actually recommended another another uh, person who was in the field of cosmetology as i had given him a call saying that i want to have a patient who has got a belly uh, well pronounced uh, nasal labial fold and she wants to get rid of it and uh, the doctor uh, told me to get uh, get her to the clinic i took the patient to the clinic and got a filler done that was my first experience of how facial cosmetology can get involved in dentistry this uh, this experience and after which the patient was really happy the patient told she was really happy with the treatment we were we from the dental aspect of it as well as the facial cosmos then i actually uh, inquired whether i could do the course with that with that particular mentor of mine and he uh, openly told yes you can do this and that's when i moved into injectables and i'm not uh, uh, deviating myself off our field it's just a, it's just a whole concept of dentistry and in case you go through the goals of dentistry it, it uh, tells that a dentist can deal with oro orofacial uh, structures that could be the hard tissues and the soft tissues and its associated what are the associated structures when you smile a smile is a very dynamic process a lot of things come uh, come into act activities your masseters your temporalis your facial muscles so we do we study about this in a first year of anatomy yes then why not we can uh, we can modulate it and we are and in case you are very good at uh, your anatomy you can definitely be a very good injector mm -hmm. so that's what that's how i recommend uh, the a uh, particular course and make sure that particular course is uh, governed by a proper council so so we have to deal only with the aesthetics right the aesthetic parts yes mm -hmm. what happens is there is a clear uh, there, there has to be a clear demarcation we are only modulating the physiological aspect of the skin okay we are only improving the aesthetic value of the skin we are in no way treating the pathology so that clarity we will give in the course of the uh, in the course uh, in the duration of the academic uh, academical course that the student or the fellow goes through so there is a very very clear demarcation and they should make sure that they don't treat pathology that's it and also doctor there are uh, so many procedures involved in the cosmetology so which procedure is the most common which is uh, seen in the market commonly seen in, uh, in the market is the uh, more recommended the more marketed is the botox and fillers mm -hmm. and inje injectables and uh, as i told you there are uh, three phases to a non invasive treatments Th those are the injectables then skin resurfacing treatments and uh, tissue lifts in tissue lifts we use a uh, cox centers and uh, mind you all these procedures are non invasive procedures mm -hmm. and any 
हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल कैन डू दिस ट्रीटमेंट एज लॉन्ग एज ही इज बीन वेल ट्रेन फ्रॉम अ नोन यूनिवर्सिटी और अ नोन कॉन्स द इंजेक्टेबल्स द स्किन रिसर्फेसिंग टेक्निक्स एंड द नॉन इनवेजिव टिश्यू ऑफर्स टिश्यू वेन इज कॉस्मेटोलॉजी वूमिंग इट इज हैप वूमिंग राइट नाउ at this very moment because all in this metropolitan city and who doesn't want to look good